Now let's see what's happening with security as in what is beginning to look like a norm across the nation's correction of facilities which has suffered multiple attacks from gunmen. Conflict advisor Salahuddin Hashim says the Just Custodial Center jailbreak is a testament that security agencies still lack required intelligence. Our correspondent Victor Mbadike tells us more. The word impossible no longer fits into describing the manner at which correctional centers are attacked in Nigeria. <laughs> Armed criminals now boldly approach these supposedly fortified facilities to free their friends and perhaps relatives. Bring the out! Bring the out! At least 8,500 inmates have escaped correctional centers across the country since 2010. Major hit states include Ogun, Lagos, Imo, Ondo, Jos, and Kogi. And it doesn't look like these criminals are slamming on the bricks yet. The attack on the Jos facility in November 2021 has once again put a spotlight on security agencies. When our men, with the assistance of security, other sister security agency, entered, they climbed the skate defense, and in the process, one of them was gone down. Salahuddin Hashim, a conflict advisor who lamented the continued jailbreaks, says it does seem that authorities haven't learned any lessons yet. Uh, intelligence is actually very poor, I mean, and even the response is, is, is somewhat uh, very weak uh, because if it had happened a number of times, you would have expected that uh, we would have reinforced and uh, prevent reoccurrence, but unfortunately, uh, that is not happening. It is happening so because of two things. One, uh, we are providing shelter to terrorists in the name of repentance uh, without having a requisite plan you know, to contain them, okay? And that is a big issue. And over time, uh, these guys uh, begin to find alternative. Uh, and in doing that, they also want to uh, look for those who have been their benefactor one way or the other. And uh, if those guys are incarcerated, they want to go out for them. I believe this kind of uh, recent attacks are basically an attempt uh, for the release of uh, bandits and terrorists that have been incarcerated by the state. Uh, the second thing is that the state itself is not decisive. Uh, if you are decisive, you should be able to uh, understand the place of summary judgment. Uh, yes, everybody has a right to fair hearing, okay? But when you have established cases like this, then it is important to have a special tribunal uh, for terrorism, okay? Because our existing law uh, is not sufficient to prosecute this. If you have a special tribunal, it will be able to, one, provide accelerated hearing. Uh, two, it will also be able to provide for a uh, key ingredient, you know, that supports the kind of penalty uh, that, that will happen. The Nigerian Senate has mandated its Committee on Interior to carry out full-scale investigations into the causes of jailbreaks across the country and determine the status of correctional centers nationwide. The current military or security personnel in total are inadequate to solve the Nigerian problem. Let's go and address this issue of security and call a collective effort with traditional rulers, students, opinion mothers, market people, we shall find solution to it. While those with the responsibility to manage the correctional facilities are faced with the task to reposition, a deeper look at the possible threat of having such facilities in the midst of a congested community may provide a better solution. From Lagos, Victor Badike, Silverberg News 24.